What's up? This is Chuck Eats. Now, I don't know about the East Coast and the West Coast. Um, I'm thinking that this is a Southern thing too, but what it's made famous by is the Midwest, Ohio, Wisconsin, Chicago, even St. Louis, the Midwest. One thing about it, we absolutely love our chili. Like, everybody tries to make the best pot of chili. Nobody could ever beat my grandmother in chili. And I, every, as we know, everything I learned, I watched from her. But I don't, you know, I have some people who say grandma's recipe. And it, it's not one thing I ha that I learned from her that I didn't trick it up myself. But I started doing that while I was learning. That was one of her things. You know, we don't teaspoon any seasons. We don't, we, we, you use as much a season as you think it's going to take to get yours right. Because it's your motherfucking shit. You know what I mean? And if you a cook, you know just what I'm talking about. If you ain't a cook and ain't never did it and trying to learn some shit, like I'm usually talking to cooks people that can get it but basically like we don't put no um spoons or nothing in and like measure it out we just we pour like we pour we pour and so we uh see it the way you could do it you want to measure a little bit of spoon stir it all up and then taste it see if you can taste it in there that's cool so we got some ground beef that we ground um the other day i didn't know what else to do with the other half it was done refrigerator today it is hot as fuck but all rainy fucked up the day so um i said i didn't get to do a thing of chili uh this winter and i love chili but i don't have a horrible 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 ulcer and heartburn through the roof like i can drink water and get it so, I'm not lying. I just took like 10 fan tacks just to be able to get through this. So, my grandmother always took her tomatoes. She never used tomato paste or nothing. And, and blended them up. And, um, so that he was any type of tomato paste. So, we got these two cans. This is tomato sauce. And this is tomatoes. Regular tomatoes in the can. But they blend them up for you. And then we got one can that's missing that I'm going to use. Where the fuck is it? Where the fuck is it? Okay. Now I say my grandma blend hers up. She, uh, you know, blends whole tomatoes up. Like it, they come in Hunt's cans. These are dice. I use them just like that. I don't care about my uh, tomatoes, me seeing them. So she, uh, the same, same thing, you know. It's like uh, with onions. Like we didn't eat onions growing up. So like in dressing and stuff, she had blended up to where, you know, if it was supposed to be, it was the main ingredient that had to be in there, but her kids didn't eat it. She took that in account and would just put it in there for the season and but not for us to have to deal with the crunch crunch so I'm doing good but um the hot dogs and everything else like in Ohio like I was saying Detroit area like we love chili dogs we call them cones and I can't believe that nobody in Boston has ever made them ate them or anything go start chill and um skyline chili do the best so ground my beef i throw we a wash up the top of my tomato oh so you see this this is sauce okay now when you making your spaghetti you uh use regular uh spaghetti sauce you don't just use that you use your rat goo and you with your garlics and stuff up in there and then sometimes you might not have enough even if you put a little bit of water in that jar, suck it up. You just need some more sauce. This is what this is for. Don't use this in chili. You are looking for either the parade box or the diced up. And then, after this, there's a 
fourth of a can of diced up tomatoes, but you can tell they're different because they got little green ones in there. This kind of, there's tomatoes and I think they say just for chili mix, okay? So then, it don't even matter. Like, my grandmother refuses to use any other chili beans than, um, you know, the ones that's done. Horton Mayo and all of them. But I get regular cans of beans, or regular cans of chili beans. Meaning that they're not done. They have to be cooked for a long time. Even though my grandma, by the ones that's done, she's still cooking for a long time. But shit, it ain't no shame in my game. So you got, uh, do you drain your hamburger? You then put your tomato uh, thing up in there, season it so it's just hamburger and tomatoes cooking uh, for a while then you add your beans everyone they do it from scratch down south i know for a fact do the kidney beans you could do the red bean or you can do the pencil bean the cans and what i mean because people would say well all cans are done um to a certain point like cans of green beans and all that they do it to a certain point but they still need a certain amount of cooking to them not just worn up if you want to want them to be soulful green beans are soulful chili that's how you know that's part of soup food so if you're making just a quick you know running in the house late need a vegetable go with it it's fine but even if it's a can like green beans and stuff i will be using boiling meat like I do if they were fresh greens or fresh green beans up uh, but people eat pork that's ham shank Joe's bacon for people that don't are you smoked turkey so when I get back I, today I use pinto beans two cans of pinto beans two cans of um kidney and I got like when my grandmother gets the whore meal chili it's done I got the, um, well, I told you the beans I got. I didn't even get chili beans. But if I would have got chili beans, they would have not been in the place with the whore meal where you can open it right out the con uh, can, heat it up in a pot, and put it on top of your hot dog. That's really what uh, we do with it. But for making chili, it's my grandmother. She's the only reason why I don't understand her getting it, and I know how long these guys take to cook, is because she still cook it the same. Uh, amount of time as I do, I promise you. So, after I have to and see if it's any ingredient that's overwhelmingly by itself, like hamburger, way too much, hot uh, dog, anything. Uh, as much, I want everything to stretch out evenly. You know, just nuts. Nuts. Um, Use, of course, chili powder. I've uh, used real garlic powder. You can use usually fine chicken, so you just use your adubu or garlic powder because it has garlic in it. But I definitely use my real garlic powder. Just a tad bit black pepper because, like I said, we'll measure. Report, I don't want this to be on the real spicy end. And that's how you can tell. See, this is brown. When I am going to probably add a more, little bit more season after I taste it, but when it's real, real spicy, from a, it will be super brown, because the more chili powder you add, the more it's going to get spicy, even the more it'll turn. I turn, uh, my grandmother's always, you can use just chili powder out the thing and get away with it if you know what you're doing, you know, if it's a butts about it. But this really do make a difference. But you just get it out those aisles with the gravy, the taco seasoning. And this store ain't used to selling. So they only had spicy. So I definitely wouldn't use all that shit. I just put a little bit in. And I'm liking my color. Because you can tell it's a little bit laid back. Versus my grandmother's. Just think of my uncle's like it's not. Hers isn't all out spicy, but it's as close as you can get without going over. So, I want mine to stay back a little bit. So, how you know the difference? She, I will look at this right now. And want, like I'm doing, letting stuff cook a lot longer. And she would definitely want it um, browner, meaning the sauce. And so, I uh, showed you... 
But all you're supposed to uh, use is something that you can cook all day. You know, if you want to cook it that away. But um, after you, you know, your hamburger and your tomatoes been drained and that whole thing with all your spices, you put all that in there. The chili powder packet, you got everything. And you just let those cook and then you add your beans in about an hour later. And I can say where you can honestly say it's done at the and you'll break from the time you started with the everything being done, the the hamburger and the tomatoes from the time that started, like I said, let that cook hour, hour half later, add your beans. I would say everything in there will be completely done. I would say within four, four and a half hours. That's what time you want to start this before dinner, you know. Because, like, yeah, it is canned beans and stuff, so they are cooked, but like I said, certain cans are only cooked to a certain amount, like these cans of pintos, like, I would have had to make, like, real pintos, but these cook a couple of hours, like, and like I said, my grandma would get the ones that can jar the spoon, be done, but down south, if somebody wouldn't use them on jar nothing, they will either go for pinto or kidney beans. And I love me some pinto beans, but y'all, it's nothing alike. Everything that went in this pot is for chili, you know? And for, uh, that, so you won't even be able to tell. That's the whole point of using them. Like, you can get any bean for this. Because people use lima beans for white chili, meaning they use chicken and, you know, everything, the sauce, everything white instead of brown. That's the only difference. All right. So, hold on, and then I'm going to add a little bit more spices.